soulmate versus twin flame so this is a standalone video but yesterday we had something very unusual happen with these particular cards and that is why i'm doing this reading today it felt like there was some rivalry that was going on between a soulmate and a twin flame that might be coming into your life so we thought we would do a follow-up video so this is going to be for the soulmate and then this deck over here, we are going to have a look at Twin Flame Energy. Twin Flame Energy. Please spread. Oh, got this card here. Let me come out. Twin Flame, please. What do we need to know? It felt like a rivalry, please. Felt like a rivalry. Okay, soulmate energy towards you. We have the four of wands. And for twin flame, we have the six of pentacles. The four of wands comes out so often in my readings. It is also known as the 1111 card and the card of divine counterparts. For a little bit of background information on yesterday's video, I was shuffling these cards as I always do on camera and the soulmate came out and it extinguished the flame on my desk. And then a moment later, the twin flame card came out. That is why it felt like rivalry. And this soulmate who is coming in is a high caliber soulmate. It may even be what we would call a twin soul. And this energy to me very much feels like this person is ready for a commitment. This card, it speaks of marriage and it most certainly speaks of a home. And it doesn't feel ordinary at all. It feels extremely magical. Let's look at this house together. Does that not look like a fairy tale castle? This person is wanting to offer security and stability. Honestly, it feels like a manifestation come true. Now, with the Six of Pentacles, it is saying that your twin flame is coming in with equal energy to you. The same vibrational frequency. Perhaps in the past you have always been the giver, and that is no longer the case. This twin flame is wanting to give to this relationship. If things have not been balanced and fair in the past, this is speaking of that change. Your soulmate, let's have a look. We have got the two of wands and your twin flame. We have got the page of wands. Every card has multiple meanings. The traditional meaning of this particular card is often speaking about choices being presented. My personal own interpretation of this card is that of mental manifestation that there are many possibilities on the horizon that are being offered to you. And you may have mentally manifested this soulmate to come into your life. And now that you've manifested them, it also seems like you have manifested your twin flame. So the question will be, what are you going to do about it? We have the page of wands for the twin flame very apt as wands represent the fire signs and this is very excited energy your twin flame is excited about the prospects with you it can often speak of spiritual downloads and awakenings so it feels like your twin flame has a sure knowing of who you are to them your soulmate we have got judgment and for the twin flame we have got queen of swords how interesting the judgment card is that of final decisions it is also a card that is representing you seeing things in a new light again i feel that this soulmate is very high level they have a huge understanding of the dynamic between you and the importance thereof and indeed, as I am tapping into both of these energies, it feels that you may have a soul tie or a soul contract with both. It will be interesting to see how that plays out. For each of us, this will be different. The Queen of Swords. I feel like this Queen of Swords is representing you. 
anyone who has experienced a twin flame dynamic, they will understand that it can be a bit of a roller coaster journey. And quite often there may have been triggers between you and your twin flame. At some point you may have decided to release and cut off certain attachments, quite literally for your own sanity. And here they are now coming in and presenting themselves. And it's saying that you need to make some sort of decision here with this Queen of Swords. You have one arm that is reaching open, inviting them to come forward. You would like to hear what they have to say, all the while being slightly protective as you do not want to go through another cycle. It may have taken you a very long time and a lot of work to get to this stage. And so you may decide to be very selective before allowing them in. Let's have a look. Soulmate energy, the two of cups and the twin flame. We have the knight of pentacles. The two of cups to me has always been a beautiful soulmate card. Now I'm very aware that there are many different types of soulmates. Some are platonic, not all have to be romantic. But within this reading, I've always felt that this is a romantic counterpart. And this Two of Cups very much indicates that also. There is passion and there is electricity between you. And once again, like that Four of Wands, it is indicating that this person has no hesitation in building a life with you and coming into a partnership and unity. I truly believe that while you were trying to manifest your twin flame, you were also manifesting this other to come through. Probably unknowingly, but the universe is offering you options. And this particular one is very hard to deny. Your twin flame may have taken a great deal of time in coming through with this Knight of Pentacles, this is actually one of the slowest moving cards of the entire deck. However, now that they are here, they are wanting to take action and to offer you this pentacle, which is symbolic of commitment, loyalty, and dedication. It is a card that is indicative of success that you may have together. Your soulmate, we have the King of Swords, interesting, because we'd seen the Queen of Swords earlier and I felt the Queen of Swords was you. Your twin flame, the Wheel of Fortune. It doesn't get easier to make this decision, does it? This soulmate who is coming through, they are very honest and they are reliable. This is someone who is steadfast and does not waver. I see the sun behind them, which represents to me the high vibrational frequency of this individual. This person is extremely serious about you. And in some cases, they may even be an air sign or have air in their chart. And with the Wheel of Fortune for your twin flame, this is talking about fate and destiny. It is also talking about the wheel that is ever turning. And it definitely has that essence that the tables have now turned. I wonder which decision you will make. I'm not here to tell you what to do in regards to this because for each of you, it is going to be a slightly different path. This is, of course, a collective reading. And if you would like your own private reading, then there is a link in my bio to same day readings and to Zoom readings. All of the cards that I have used today are also linked within my bio.